David, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. But I gotta ask you though, my friend, I mean, great summer weather, Toronto is bustling, um, and here you are part of all this fun with your exhibit here at the uh, List Gallery. How does it feel having your exhibit? It feels great. Um, I spend most of my time in the summer up at the cottage, and I, that's where I'm inspired. I'm taking photographs, and I'm painting up there, and I just feel really uh, blessed to be able to share my work here in Toronto. You know, I wanted to ask you about that, too, because, uh, you know, I was reading up on, you know, how you uh, make these great uh, paintings and stuff. Uh, but I want to get into how it really began for you, because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, were you inspired by your mom and her work? That's right. Yep. My mom paints with oils, so I was sh uh, sharing a studio with her from a young age. I was going with her to classes and, and sharing a studio, so I was very comfortable painting with oils ever since I was young. Yeah. Why oils? I mean, you could have used anything, but why oils? I like the way it smells. I like that it doesn't dry right away and just something about it. I just love the textures and, and uh, when I was younger, I used to think that it, or I used to describe it as uh, very tactile and it used to make my mouth water almost. I just, I just love it. Wow. It, it seems to have developed where, and correct me if I'm wrong, is it really the nature, you know, Canadian nature that uh, captures your eye in your paintings? Absolutely, yes. Um, I think we're just uh, lucky to live in such a great place with so many diverse landscapes. And yeah, definitely landscape is what I'm inspired by. How does it work for you? Because that was one of the things I was reading that you snap pictures first and then the creation comes out. Like, how does it, the development uh, happen? For you? I have painted in the field before where I've taken a canvas out and painted directly, like, you know, in the situation. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Yeah. What's that like for you to do that? I'm shy, right? So it, it gathered a crowd. I was out in the country just in a field and like cars were stopping and people were coming over and I'm just shy. So I, I kind of retreated to my studio. So that's how I work now. Mm -hmm. Take photographs and I work from my studio. But it's not so much as, okay, you take the photograph, but something else can come out of that photograph, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. It's more like, a, like I, I do lots of manipulation of the phot photography and I um, sometimes it'll lead to lots of other things. Uh, sometimes I'll be looking at a photograph that's catching my attention and then I zero in on just a very specific aspect of it and then it leads to a whole new um, realm of possibilities. What does your family think about this? I mean, you've got a wife, you've got kids. Yeah. I mean, are they sort of getting themselves into this too? I'm talking about the kids too. I, they, they think I'm a little bit crazy, I guess. Uh, you know, uh, they are creative folks, but they, they don't share my passion as much, uh, but they definitely support me 100%. They, they don't turn around and say, Dad, can you paint like Batman or something or Iron Man? Not so much. <laughs> no, so much. not so much. Well, let's get back to the uh, paintings because uh, this exhibit, what are we going to be seeing here? What are people going to be able to experience and also be able to buy? Well, I have uh, a range of my work. Uh, currently, I, I reside in Brantford, Ontario, and I'm surrounded by the countryside, fields and trees. So there's some of that type of work where I've, I'm depicting the fields and trees around Brantford. But the majority of the work here is uh, Jack Lake in the Kawarthas, um, the islands and trees and, and landscapes up there. Is that the theme of this? Generally, yeah. 90% of what you'll see here is images from the lake. Okay, for example, and I'm just going to sort of, what you have behind you right here, what do you call this, this one right this up one there? Here. Yeah. This is uh, Tree Blaze. Um, one day I was driving uh, through the countryside uh, photographing the the rolling hills and I came across a tree in the fall that was, it seemed like it was on fire, it was so red. And so that is uh, one of the trees that I've photographed and started to, to de depict. Um, just a tree in full autumn bloom. And the one just underneath, the thing that I found interesting about this is, I remember as a kid when I would go to the art gallery and seeing the indigenous paintings, the colors to me remind me of those paintings that I would see. What is this exactly? This is, uh, this is from a, one of my favorite places on the lake. It's, uh, it's an island on the lake where we go and we jump off into the lake. And we spend a lot of time there fishing and swimming. But more than that, there's, there's rocks. It's majority of this island is rock with trees uh, growing out of it, uh, which seems miraculous since there's very little soil. And uh, yeah, I think there is a little bit of uh, influence, uh, native art a little bit, uh, impressionistic. Um, there's lots of texture in my work. Yeah, that's what you're seeing. Well, you know what? I think it's actually very, very amazing. And like I said, there's a lot here going on for folks who can be able to see this as I 
zoom in on you and just sort of spin this back over again. Um, if people want to learn more about your work, uh, website, Twitter, all that stuff, where do we go? Grievard.com. Okay, and, and uh, you shouldn't even be asking this, but uh, do you know how long the exhibit is going to be here for? August 11th is when it'll be up till. Fantastic. And like I said, people can purchase though, correct? Absolutely. Everything's for sale, except we have sold quite a few already. So, But I'm just happy that it's here, and please uh, come and check it out. I'm just happy to get a chance that I get to see this, and I get to talk to the man behind the paintings. Sir, thank you thank so you. much for this interview. Nice to meet you, Rudy. Thank you very much.